The lemon is the yellow fruit. It's sour and it's often used to make fruit. The lemon grows on the tree with white flowers and pretty leaves. And welcome to my channel my name is Talisha and I also go by creativity by T and today I am sharing with you my third make for my fruity fashion collection which is the lemon dress <laughs> not only will I be sharing my lemon dress with you today but I made this dress in collaboration with Sarah of Naughty Gnome Crafts Sarah and I made a garment using the same lemon fruit as the thing, but I'm not sure which pattern that she sewed up and she does not know which pattern I have sewn up. So I am very excited to go over to her channel to watch her video to see what she put together today for this collaboration. Sarah has a wonderful um, YouTube channel and her channel is all about sewing and personal style and she makes beautiful clothes and she styles her clothes very well. Sarah uploads on a regular basis so I encourage you to go ahead and go to her channel when you're finished watching this video and check her out and I will leave all of her information in the description box below so that you can go like I said over there and check her out and see what she has to show us today and I will also leave her Instagram information in the description box as well so we are halfway through this fun fruity fashion collection series and I just find this to be so fun and the interaction that I have received in the comments has been so inspiring and I just want to thank everyone who has come on this fruity journey with me and allowing me to express myself through my sewing and for just for the engagement with you all and just having fun along the way and because of that I will be having a giveaway at the end of this series and that will be announced in the grand finale video so make sure you stay tuned to the channel so that you don't miss any uploads and also make sure you watch all of the videos in this series because you may need some information from one of these videos to help win the giveaway prize and if you need to catch up I have created a playlist that will pop up at the end of the video for your viewing purposes. <laughs> now, on to the lemon dress. My inspiration for making a lemon dress came from me making my very first lemon dress, which was actually my very first fruity garment. I love wearing dresses, but I just felt different in that dress. I don't know, maybe because of the fruity vibe, but that again, obviously had to be what it was because that's what prompted this whole entire thing. And it was a very good feeling. And from that point on, I just wanted all of the fruity dresses, makes, you name it. <laughs> so, I used McCall 7599 to make my dress and I made it using view a and actually I didn't make the whole dress with that pattern but I made the upper part and I'll explain that more within this uh, review so when I initially noticed this pattern which was a while ago because I had this in my stash I thought it was super cute but I didn't know when I would make it and which fabric I would use and all that good stuff but when I purchased this fabric and I reviewed my patterns again I looked at this one and I thought this would be perfect because uh, the model had on gingham and the background of this fabric is gingham as well and I was able to use the white fabric as a contrast and I just loved how the combination came together so now let's get into the details of this pattern but don't forget 
to drop a comment in the comment section below so that I know what you think about the dress and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. <laughs> So again, for the pattern, I use McCall 7599 and the pattern description is close fitting line dress that have neckline variations and a petticoat. View A has a contrast band, which is this right here, and straps. Um, the sewing skill for this particular dress is, um, is not noted on the pattern, but I would say for myself that it's probably for an advanced beginner or intermediate level uh, sewer because of the installation of the invisible zipper and the zipper being on the side, the straps, and the lining. The pattern pieces that you need to make this dress includes 10 pattern pieces within the pattern, but I only had to use five. Um, those pattern pieces included the front bodice, the back bodice, the straps, the band, the front skirt, and skirt back. The notions that you will need includes, of course, thread and 16 inch zipper, and it also acts for three hook and eyes, but I did not use the hook and eyes. As stated before, I take my zippers all the way to the top, so it's not needed for me. The suggested fabrics for this pattern is going to be gingham, cotton poplin, sateen, and cotton blends. The pattern sizing comes in size 6 to 22, and I am at the top of the range, so I cut a 22. And I do overall think that it does look like the dress that is on the pattern cover. Um, the instructions were very easy to follow. and. The things that I liked about this pattern was I love the gathering detail on the straps that are here. I like the band that connects to the bodice for contrast, which is here. Um, what I did not like about the pattern was I don't think I'm really a fan of this bodice. I do think it looks well, but it fits awkwardly and not only do I feel somewhat awkward in the bodice but the sides meaning under the arms you know they they poke out in this pattern I mean it's just a lot of a lot of room and that's just how the pattern was designed to be and I just think it's too wide the straps were way too long and I had to make an adjustment and after I adjusted the straps the bodice did fit better under the arms but it was floppy on the side it is floppy I should say on the side where the zipper is installed and that's because of the weight of the zipper uh, I believe a heavier fabric could have prevented this from happening but this fabric type was or is suggested as a fabric that you can use so I just feel like that should not be happening but here you know it just kind of hangs because of that so the fabric that I use is 100% cotton gingham with and it has lemon prints with the gingham background and I did purchase this from Joanne fabrics and I do believe that it is super cute I did make alterations or changes um, because as mentioned before I changed the straps I had to take in the straps by a couple of inches the biggest change that I had to make with the pattern was the skirt pattern piece for this was just way too big and I didn't see how I could even get the front skirt piece cut with the fabric that I had left um, let alone the front and the back so I kind of put this project <laughs> off to the side for a little bit so that I can think about it a little bit more. And as I thought about this, I thought about the pattern that I used to make my strawberry dress, which was Simplicity 8873. And I remembered that there was a standard circle skirt pattern piece included for view A, which is the view that I did not make. Um, and I pulled that pattern out to measure the circle skirt to see if it would fit the bodice and it did. So I used it, but I shortened the front and back skirt pattern piece by two inches and I was so happy because I started to feel discouraged at first because there was no more of this fabric in stock and I didn't really want to have to um, 
make like a romper because I didn't have enough fabric or just turn it into a peplum top you know I wanted to make the dress and I was just happy that that worked out and I was able to get this worked out and use that pattern skirt piece to make this dress so yes I used two different patterns to make this dress at the end of the day however the bodice is what differentiates this dress from the other dresses that I have made so I still think it looks like the pattern cover although I did not use the skirt front and skirt back piece that originally came with this pattern so back to the original pattern this pattern also includes a petticoat pattern to make with this dress but I did not make that I would definitely recommend this to others um, if you are looking for this style of bodice um, it does come with some fit issues in my opinion but again it is still cute overall so now I will enter clips and pictures to show you more of my lemon dress and I will also give you some fun facts about the lemon fruit all right everyone here's your fun facts due to its high acidic nature the juice of a lemon can be used for cleaning and lemon halves dipped in salt or baking powder can be used to brighten copper and clean kitchenware the lemon grows on an evergreen tree it blooms a white flower and produces fruit all year round and each tree can produce between 500 and 600 pounds of lemons a year the leaves from a lemon tree can be used to make tea the citrus lemon is technically a berry because it is a hesperidium which is a berry with a leathery rind all right everyone so that is it for my third fruity fashion collection garment for this series and i hope you enjoyed this video and i also hope you liked how this dress turned out and if you did please click the like button and stay tuned to this series because i will be having another special collaboration and that video will be published on sunday august 8th so make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that you can be notified whenever i upload a video for the remainder of this series and just know that in between uh, the series I will be uploading other types of videos so the next video may not be a fruity fashion collection video but thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers and I will see you in the next video bye